Hello, I'm Radioactive Duck, and this is Dwarf Fortress. So <laughs> our last map, I kind of flooded a little bit. It probably could have been salvaged, but um, losing is fun. And I've watched some videos since then, and I would actually like to implement some new things that I've seen. Um, and I was just thinking, like, starting over is probably just the best way to go. Um, instead of, like, having the dwarves remodel the entire base. Um, anyways, so this is our old map that I, I, I titled Flood. I now um, have generated a new world. I, I, I uh, basically made it similar to the last map. Um, <clears throat> and we're just going to start right from the map. Um, I haven't looked at it or done anything. I've just set it up. I've just had the dwarves embark. So, we are going to go to the Plane of Prophecy. <laughs> our, little, uh, our little outpost is Page Nut, which is just dandy. And we are going to continue. Um, I'm still of the mindset that I want to build the best fortress possible. Um, previously, I had rooms set up that were 3x3 three three cubes, and I'm thinking I'm going to do 4x4. Four I want to give my dwarves a lavish lifestyle, <laughs> so let's take a look. Um, so we've got a river or a, bro a brook right here. Um, not so bad. Let's see if it forks out anywhere. Nope. Alrighty. So we got our nice little brook, um, and it looks like there's there's plenty of places to build like a nice side entrance here which we love um, I don't know why I love it but I do so I'm thinking like somewhere in here just gonna go real easy like I know the dwarves are like right here and could just go in but I'm I want to go up a little bit more sort of in the corner so I've got more room to spread which is interesting because I'm going to try to keep things centralized, but we'll see what the aquifer allows. We'll see what happens when we get in there. So I'm thinking like right here. Let's um, let's set up some uh, animal stuff and some zones here. So let's do our pen and pastures right here for now. Um, we'll, we'll move them inside eventually. And let's see what we got. Hey, we got two horses of oppose uh, of, of opposite genders. So we will have breeding pairs of all of our certain animals, which is kind of nice. Um, and I, I actually have a different outlook to animals now as well. Before I was just gonna let the cats just do what they're gonna do and let them breed and breed and breed. My roommate who had told me about this game initially, um, told me about the thermonuclear cat explosion, and we found videos and I have decided to limit the cat uh, breeding. I need to focus on what I'm doing here. So we got our pen and pasture set up. We need to set up refuse and corpses, corpse storage and stuff. So let's do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so cats will be limited <laughs> in their breeding capabilities. Um, okay, so this is going to be our corpses. And then next to it, we'll just do refuse. All right. And that'll be our little little garbage dump here. Um, that's fine. Um, oh God, I hate that I'm so anal. All right. Okay, so that's a good setup. Let's, let's take a look at our labor menu here and just see who we got. So we've got our proficient miner. We got another proficient miner. So last last playthrough um i maxed out all of the skills for certain professions so like this person is max on mining and max on masonry this person is max on mining max on stone cutting so on and so forth i stuck with that like i just kept the same group that i had last time um the only difference is, is i changed the expedition leader uh this person is maxed out in leadership and trapping because i figured it, it would probably be good to have a hunter um, to, to hunt for us so and I, I feel like this person's gonna be like that that you know that crazy you know expedition leader that's like let's go men you know and like you know is is Teddy Roosevelt like 
grab the gun, mate, and like, you know, let's let's go shoot as an elephant, things like that. So, um, let's, uh, let's see, this person will be a planter eventually. Um, this is a calm area. I don't feel like our fisher dwarf will go off and wander and die, but, you know, like, maybe we should turn it off for now until things get settled. I don't know. I did that last time. I've lost so many, like, fisher dwarves when... I've started before, but we're going to take a chance and it'll be fine. Um, kitchen. We're going to make sure that our plump helmets can only be used for brewing so that we keep getting seeds back. And then, uh, standing order. So while we're here, I am going to turn off children chores. Um, we want to avoid tantrums. We want to give our life, our dwarves the best lives possible. So that's the goal. Alrighty. So, we said we were going to go up here, let's chorp some trees, um, I feel like we have a good good amount of trees in this area, I don't really see any big ones, so, and, and the elves are actually closer by than I would like, um, but you know, this was, this seems like a, an ideal area, so, if the elves come, come knocking and telling me that, like, I can't cut down trees, well, I'm just going to have to deal with it. Okay, so let's, we had some trees set up to be chopped, and let's, let's get an idea for how we want this to look. So, I feel like this right here is a good amount of space. Um, we can put our trade depot here. We're not too close to, like, to, to the edge of the map. I think we'll be good. And I feel like this is, this is a good amount of space. So, let us do this and then we want our trade depot like right here I think and then we'll do this and this I think there's a cat on my desk being a nosy little shit he knows he's not supposed to be up there and yet, he is. So, you know, if you hear anything crash, it's because he's a goofy goober. Little jerk. Anyways, so I want to have doorway here, doorway here, bridge here, bridge here, so we can close the bridge if there's, like, an invasion, things like that. And then we can go into, like, storage and stuff. Um, I feel like we'll have our stairwell down, maybe, like, right here. Um, and then I, f I, I think this is a good start. We're going to have the offices and dormitories up here, and this will just all be like storage. Um, I think this is a good, good swath to cut out. Let's, let's plan out our little, let's see. So the door goes here. Let's put the office, put the dormitory like right here for now, and then we'll do another little office here. Um, Eventually, they'll both be offices, but for now, this is what they are. So there's a cat sitting on my desk that is trying to like make the leap over to my bookshelf. Now, he cannot make it, but he's going to try, and it's going to be hilarious, and I, I wish I had a video camera on him, because Jesus Christ, cat. Anyways, let's go, dwarves, let's go. So, oh, there he goes. He did not make it. Anyways, so, um, now depending on what the aquifer looks like, ooh, there's a big old moose. Yeah. Wait, let's, let's stop. Bull moose. Yeah. He's annoyed. He's terrified. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Oh yeah. It's a he. All right. Cool. So I knew it would probably be good to bring a hunter. Anywho. Um, so we're going to have them clear this out. We'll kick things off. Um, I think, yeah, stairwell down is going to be here. Depending on what the aquifer looks like, um, we may set up another intake pipe at the brook. We may not. Um, we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to actually set our priority to one here. And actually, yeah, they're going. That's fine. But f for the future, it will always be a one until, you know, until it needs not to be. So I'm thinking 
I don't know. I've seen a lot of cool, like, surface level fortresses, but I really do love the, the Terranian fortresses, so I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm, I'm going to let them, like, clear this out before we do our stairwell down. Um, and I'm also going to set up a workshop quick, and we, we're going to do some storage. Um, my motto this playthrough as well is, is to let the dwarves catch up and to not like over overwhelm them because I feel like that's one of the things I was doing and I was like rushing things and this is this is not always a game where speed is necessity um, sometimes you just need to take your time and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go to nice nice leisurely pace give the dwarves time to, to accomplish what they've set out to do um, I do want to set up some workshops. Uh, let's see. So we need a carpenter. I'm gonna put the carpenter right here. Oh, we got some sandstone already. Ah, uh, sure. We'll set up. We'll, we'll use sandstone. That's fine. And we will put some wood storage in here. I think that'll be good. And then we're gonna put the rest of our storage uh, down here. For now, um, the cat is doing something, and he shouldn't be. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's just see here. Custom. So we're not gonna have wood in there, and honestly, I'm not gonna have stone in there. Um, oops. Uh, everything else I'll deal with as as we deal with. So. Um, in the meantime, let us um, create a chair and some doors. So let's make our chair and then let's make some doors. Now, I um, I'm actually gonna set the the wood just because. We're gonna, we're gonna make all the doors look the same because that's that's the trip I'm on this uh, this playthrough. So let's do that. And then we're going to set a meeting zone for our little dwarves here and disassemble the wagon. Okay, that's that's good for now, I think. And I need to remember to build, I always forget to build the trade depot because like I'm so busy doing other stuff. I need to remember to build the trade depot um, before before the, the caravans come. So, all right, let's let us break down the wagon here and, and load everything in. We're gonna give them time to do that. I am going to assign one person to mining though. Oh, and also we can make some other people miners. Um, in the meantime, actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, <laughs> but w one person's gonna be stuck doing that. Um, Cause I wanna see what we got below the surface here. I wanna see if there's like aquifer immediately below us. I don't know if there is or not, but we'll see. Okay. Alrighty. No. Okay, so this may be a good area for our animals. I'm thinking of keeping the animals kind of near the surface. Um, just, just because it's easier, I think, and we'll have our like butcher station up here and things like that. Um, that's what I did last time and I feel like that's the way to go, but I could be wrong. We'll see. So we've got no, uh, no aquifer so far in, in those nine tiles. So, okay. This seems okay. Now, and, and we may hit it as we go out. We'll find out, I guess, but we're going to, we're going to plan. Uh, here it is. Here it is. All right. So we've got possibly two levels of, um, like workspace before we end up having to deal with that aquifer and punch through it. So let's see if that chair is done. I'm pretty sure it is, but we're gonna see if the chair is done. We said this was the dormitory, this was the office, but you know, I'm gonna switch that up. All right. 
So we're gonna make this our office, and then we're gonna assign that right away to our administrator. Okay, and now our administrator is gonna be our manager. Yeah, proficient organizer. Also gonna do the bookkeeping. Also gonna be the broker. Last time around, I had the expedition leader be the broker and the administrator be the administrator, basically. Um, we're going to just keep it all the same. And this, this will be the face, and this will be like the brains, you know? That's, that's what we're doing. And let's see if we have enough doors to start putting some doors up. So I said I wanted a door. Ooh, I fucked up, but it's fine. Um, we'll fix it. We will fix it eventually, but right now we're just gonna do doors right here. And actually, we can stop making doors um, in the meantime, and let's make us some beds. And we're gonna pick the wood for the beds too. Um, let's do... I'm just gonna go with the wood that we have the most of, which is the, the pecan, which which is our doors as well. So everything is gonna match. Um, so, oh, doors is where we were at. So that's gonna be our office. This is gonna be our dormitory. Everybody's doing the storage stuff. Um, let's, let's consider some more workshops now. So I know that we need a fishery so we can actually like process our fish we're gonna do pecan again. Uh, no, we're gonna do sandstone because because we have it. Um, we the, the four sandstone that we have, um, and then so fishery. We're also gonna do a kitchen because um, we we do need that, and then a mechanic, I believe. Um, yeah, we'll do the mechanic. Um, yeah, we'll do the mechanic. Okay. Because we're going to need that for, like, the floodgates and stuff. So we'll do that. Um, that'll be fine for now. <sighs> you know, I got those doors in and they're still flies buzzing around, but hopefully they'll go away soon. And then we'll just wait for them to unload all of this and it'll be great it's almost uh almost taken care of in the meantime we're gonna set up some production here so we want to make some bins first off don't really care well god i should set the wood because it'll make things much easier to deal with later on um fine We'll do walnut for our bins, and we're gonna do, as long as there's 10, you know, we'll, we'll be good, I think. Um, last time I think we did five. I'm just gonna stick with 10. 10 is, you know, there's a reason it's the default. Okay, we also wanna do barrels. Um, I wish I had an idea of like, I have a feeling that the trees are pretty well. Let's see, apricot, apricot, sand pear, sand pear. I have a feeling that there's a healthy mix of like wood types, but I'm I'm thinking just for organizational sake, we're gonna keep everything um, well organized. So for the wait, I thought I chose the wood for the bed. Wait. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. I thought I did. I'm gonna have to watch back the video because like I literally thought that I chose pecan wood, but apparently I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. Um, we chose the bins. We chose, we're gonna choose the barrels. So we want, let's do, well, Let's do sand pear wood for now, for the barrels. I should switch those, but it's fine. Um, we're gonna do 10. And then for the buckets, we're actually gonna do five. That is something that I do feel like five is, is plenty. So buckets, we're gonna do five, and we're going to choose, 
Uh, let's see, we'll do that. And then we're gonna choose the wood, which is going to be uh, pecan. <laughs> um, because there, there's a lot of that too. So, all right, I think we're good. I think we're good. This is pecan wood. Pecan. Wood. So may, maybe, maybe the bed thing. I, I, I was, I, I was pretty sure that I chose the wood. Looks like they're all pecan. So I think we're we're good. All right. All right. So let's see if that's all unloaded. Uh, it's not, but that's fine. It's fine. Let's get those beds in there. They look kind of tired. Let's put some beds in here. Space them out just a touch. And then let's uh, set this as our dorm for now. All right, so I think we're looking good. We've got our wood manufacturing set up. Let's, we don't have enough uh, stone right now to start like cranking out um, <clears throat> mechanisms. So we're not gonna worry about that. Um, let's do some lavish meals. We're gonna do, we're gonna set this at, I think we did a hundred last time to start. I think that's a good starting point. Um, and then, oh, the still, that's what I forgot. We need the still. Okay. That's fine. Um, they'll, they'll do the fish. He'll do the fishing on its own. I'm not going to set that right now. Let's make a still. Um, we're going to edit this, uh, just a touch. I'm going to put the still right here for now. And then that's what I forgot the still. Okay. Here we go. Last sandstone, baby. Well, once once they start, um, or once once they get the rest of this in, I'm gonna start digging down. Um, let's put that other bed in there if we can. Bed, oh, not done yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They're still doing lots of stuff. We will set the work orders for the still. Let's, yeah, that cat is gonna die soon. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna fall off something. All right, let's see. We wanna brew drink from plants specifically, and we're gonna do, now for this I'm gonna do 250, because I feel like last time around, and, and just in general, like I have pr more problems keeping drinks in stock than I do food. I believe that's because they drink more than they eat, which is fine. Um, so this is this is good for now. And then we are also going to do the um, fruit as well. So we've got plant fruit and we're doing, can use any shop. That's new, um, but okay, we're going to do 250 again. And then that should be good. Okay. So interesting. This is something I've never come up with before. So hang on a sec. Um, let's take a look at the work orders and see what the deal is here. Why I can use any shop. I want to assign it to the, to the still. I guess I have to create it from the still because um, there's no. Ha. Okay, that's that's weird. I'll figure that out at some point. Let's let's do that again. Um, brew drink from fruit. Two fifty. That looks good, and it's in the still. All right, perfect. That's great. So now. How is this? Just just the one pick and, and the thread and the rope. So a little, little more time and they should be good. Um, I wish those flies would go away, but it's fine. Okay. So now I want to dig down, but I, I want, I don't want, again, them to be overwhelmed with too much stuff to do, but we're going to dig down because I'm growing impatient. Is this bed done? There is a, a bed in there. Um, I don't know if it'll come out or not, but we'll find out. 
Yep. All right. Cool. All right. That's all nice and neat. Let's, um, now I could plan out the little animal area, but I'm going to, I would like to see this aquifer situation through here. Um, so we're going to do that. And then this, oh, we've hit sand. Okay. I went out too far. That is not what I intended to do. All right. So we want to do this and this and this. Okay, so we're gonna wall this off and then keep going. Oops, that is, again, not what I intended to do, but it's okay. We did almond, we're gonna do almond again. And then we'll do the plum. All right. Um, we're gonna take that off for now. And then hopefully someone will come down and do this. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, good, good. I always get a little nervous when it comes to the aquifers. And I believe there's a setting I can change, like I can change the priority, but I don't get mahogany because there's the perfect amount. Um, okay. Um, I could always set a labor task as well for building, but I don't think we need to do that because, again, they're pretty caught up. Like, they just have hauling to do. Um, I may actually have them go out and get some veg so we can start making more alcohol. So I, uh, we're going to actually do that quick once this is walled off here. <laughs> um, come on, finish that little wall so I can put this in. Oh, of course, it's that one. There we go. All right, let's do bayberry. And we're going to have them collect some veg here, some some herbs, some produce. And actually, we're going to set our little fishing territory here. Um, I'm thinking water source can be back here for now. And then... We'll do our little fishy spot, little fishing hole right here. Oops, there we go. Okay, that looks good. We've got lungfish everywhere, but it's fine. Crawl on the land and die. Alrighty, cool. So we'll let them do this and get caught up. Um, I should also actually set up some gardens now that I think about it. So let's do that. We'll do some gardens, like right here. Um, we'll do one right here. I'm gonna put the road right there, so. Let's avoid that area, um, but we can do one right here, right here. Um, no, we're not going to do that. Eh. I was going to say four should be good right now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do, um, we'll do one right here. And then uh, we'll do one right here. Okay, that'll be good. Okay. We got more drinks going. We may pause this, although it is, it is static right now so we'll see um but i would like this to, to get up to 100 <laughs> that would be nice we'll keep an we'll keep an eye on it um i sent them pretty far out for for gathering didn't i but it's okay it's fine 
We may need some more storage. Um, I know that as the, the vegetables get used up, things will condense down, but I know at some point we're going to need some more storage, which is fine. All right, could, could somebody like hop on the still and start brewing? That, that would be good. I would also really like all of those flies to go away. Could someone please just hop on the still, please? Oh my god, please hop on the still. <sighs> I think the fly is attracted to the pigs. Why are the pigs in here and not outside? That's my question. I put them in there, right? Like I put them in there, sp I did, okay, well. <sighs> I guess they're just hanging. this ripe? I don't know. It's not. Okay. I would really like someone to brew. Like that would be good, please. Let's let's brew. I'm so impatient. I don't want to assign somebody like to this workstation. I like the idea of the dwarves being able to do whatever it is they want to do. But, you know, if I have to, I will. We got some migrants. That's great. Um and now I think somebody will start brewing, which is great. All right, let's take a look at our migrants here. A lot of miners, a lot of miners. So you don't need to be a miner anymore, neither do you. Also, I don't think I have five picks. I think I only have four. However, I don't need three woodcutters. I just need the one. So guess what? You guys are gonna be planters for now. Um, hunting is good. Our fisher dwarf is good. I think everything else is good. Okay. So let's, um, let's make sure needs unrotten fermentable plants. Well, I've, I've got them. Okay. Needs unrotten fermentable plants. Um, I mean, we we have them. Oh no, that that's spawn. Okay, never mind. Um, we have some plants, I guess. I I don't know what we're missing here. Uh, we got barley. I don't know if we can get that or not. Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll get the barley, I guess. I don't know what else to do. All right, I feel like now that we have more people here, we can we can have our miners do some mining. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that. Um, let's uh, continue on. We'll see how this goes. All right, still aquifer, which is fine. I don't mind if we just, uh, you know, do all of our workshops underneath the aquifer, with the exception of perhaps the, the animals, you know, but that's fine. Um, all right, let us put some walls up here. Bayberry. Now this is a light aquifer, but I do feel like there's a lot of water there, so I don't know. Maybe we embarked near a heavier aquifer? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's do our birch. And then we'll do apricot. I guess. And while that's going, we're gonna, all right, we do have somebody making drinks, which is good. I should check our farm plots and see if they're done and if we can start planting some things. I don't know if we have any seeds though <laughs> that uh, we can use, but we'll find out. 
we'll find out, I guess. We'll, we'll make do. Um, we'll make do. Okay. I don't know what that sound is. Oh, it's a siren. Okay. All right, we're hitting some more wood, which or uh, hitting some more stone, which is good. Um, I'm gonna continue with the bayberry and the apricot. What kind of stone is this? Carnelian. Hmm. I'm tempted. Nah. We'll just. Eh, I'm tempted, but eh. I can always come back and get it. Oh, I didn't mean to use the sandstone, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's do apricot. And now we go to, oh, we are actually pretty far down already. So I didn't, I didn't even look at the elevation before. Um, I think on the other map there was like, oh, hey. Hey, I think we might be at a good spot for our aquifer situation. Um, I think on the other map, like our, our I think um, ground level was at like 20 or something. I don't remember, but it was pretty far up. Um, I was doing walls, but I'm not doing walls because I want to finish the stairwell first. So let's do that. And then we'll do our walls. Uh oh. Um, let's finish this. Okay. So, because we have this aquifer, we may want to set up our uh, aquifer to be a reservoir. Um, instead of using the brook, which makes sense to me, but you know, I could be, um, mistaken. It might be a dumb thing to do. <laughs> um, I think that's what we did last time. I don't quite remember. All right, let's do the, the wood that we got now. All right, um, we will have our little carpenter chorp down some more trees. Ah, yes, the farm plots. Okay, let's do some barley, and I guess we'll do some long grass. Um, and then let's uh, chop down some more trees. I know that we have a bunch of wood, but I always feel like we could use some more. Um, okay. And hey, our storage is looking good. <sighs> um, I don't think we have enough rocks to make mechanisms yet, but that's okay. I would like more drinks. I, I would really like more drinks. We, we don't need any more lavish meals. Why are, why is everybody at the kitchen? Uh, I think cause, cause this is the meeting zone. That's why. <laughs> Let's build our trade depot before I forget. That's a good idea because I know that I will if I don't build it now. Uh, so we're gonna do bauxite because that's what we got. Let's build some more, let's do some more um, wheelbarrows while I'm remembering as well, while I'm thinking about it. And then um, I did wall that off, right? I did, okay. Because the last thing we need is a flood but I would really, really like for the plants to, to go into the brewing, please. Please, I, I would really like for us to, to brew, please, please, please. Everybody go get all of those veg, get all of the, the barley I think that is, get it so we can make, make beer make ale, make something. Okay. Uh, 
Um, one of my last maps, not not the one on here, but um, one of my last personal maps, like within the first couple months, um, somebody was named Baroness, and I had no resources to make you know this opulent throne room that they they were wanting. So that was a uh, that was fun, <laughs> um, but. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time around. Is that fish dead? I think it might be. Oh no, oh yeah it is. Okay, that's fine. All right, we don't need, we, d they're not, okay. They keep making food even though, uh, maybe they're not, maybe they're just standing there, I don't know. But I do want them making booze. That's what we want. Okay, there, all right, the number's going up. That's great, that's what we're looking for. All right, let's continue with our little aquifer exploration here. I have a feeling this level will also be aquifer, yep, but it's fine. Um, it's fine, we're just gonna do what we can. All right. So once again, I'm going to have all of the the industries and like all of the workshops separate from the living quarters um, by a good margin, just because it does keep the noise down for them. Um, all right, let's do Bayberry now that we can. All right, and then Willow now that we can. Cause we got some more. All right. Apricot. And we'll do apricot again, even though that's the furthest away. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's my motto. It'll be fine. All right, let's take a look and see. Aquifer, yep. I was hoping that we had come to a, like a little break in it, but apparently we have not. So we'll just keep on going. Um, we're gonna, like, I feel like we're gonna hit a cavern soon, which is fine, but also like, eh. Um, nice, okay. So this stuff wasn't wet, which I think is good. So I'm hoping, again, I'm hoping that means we can start building things um, and setting stuff up soon. Um, that's fine. Okay. Sand pear, we're gonna do almond again. Cause I don't think I'm using almond for anything else. So it can, it can be, we can use it for the walls. That's fine. All right, another layer. Let's do it. Ugh. Okay. Well, this is slightly better. Um, we are, however, still um, in aquifer territory. But we've hit some rock salt, which is nice. Let's uh, finish up with our almond here. Oh, now it's down. All right. Um, let's do bayberry and plum. Take a look at how things are on the surface here. Things are still looking pretty good. We've got a good amount of drink. Farms are going. Um, we have so many shells. It's fine. We need to set up a crafting station uh, quite soon, I guess. Um, we'll do that. That'll be a priority. Um, all right. That'll be a priority for sure.
All right, let's see what this looks like. Still kind of aquifery, which is fine. Now, I know that some people do build like on the aquifer zones. Um, I don't feel like I'm adept enough to do that yet, but there will come a time when I'm just like, hey, I can build here. But now, like, I have, like, I can, I can do patch jobs, um, but I feel like when I've tried to do bigger constructions, even if I have walls and floor everywhere, what kind of stone is this? Oh. Um, even if I have like walls and floors everywhere and everything's smooth stoned, um, I still get like leaking and I, I don't quite know why. So that's something I'll figure out at some point in time, but not, not today. So. Okay, let's do another layer here. See if we can't get some bearings on. I knew it. I knew we were gonna hit the cavern. Uh, it's fine. Let's pause for a second. Um, we're gonna cancel all of this because um, th this cavern. There's a, a like an empty spot there. So we'll deal with that in a minute, um, I am going to, because I think if we just move over just a touch, it'll be okay. And this will give us practice working with aquifer and we'll, we'll deal with that. Um, we'll deal with that, I think next time, because I feel like this is a good, now that we've hit the cavern, I feel like this is a good time to take a break and we will deal <laughs> with, uh, with that cavern expanse next time, so. Um, we've done a lot. We've got our storage situation good. We've got some basic workshops going. Um, our happiness is, is going down just a touch. So I would like to get some dorm, uh, some, some domicile set up quick, but that is all, uh, something we'll, we will do next time. So, and so adios.